<laughs> Today we are presenting the Thermoprobe TP9 portable gauging thermometer. This is an intrinsically safe thermometer used for the petroleum industry. It's intended to be used in hazardous locations or explosive environments. The TP9 utilizes an accurate platinum RTD technology. It also includes a half inch LCD display with resolution in tenths or hundredths of a degree and is switchable between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It also includes a backlight and a sensor that will turn on a backlight in low light conditions. Uh, one of the nice features of a TP9 is it uses standard AA batteries. All right, the TP9 allows the cable to be stored on the back with a cable bar hand wrap design. Uh, this probe length of cable that we see here is 75 feet. Uh, it comes available with brass markers that can be installed depending on how the unit is ordered every five feet or every meter. Uh, this allows the user to determine quickly how deep they are allowing their probe to sink into their product for measurement purposes. The TP9 is primarily constructed of stainless steel construction which is very resilient in many chemical environments. It helps with the uh, ease of cleaning as well as ruggedness. The TP9 includes an electric bonding connection to ensure that static buildup is not an issue in hazardous locations. The cable is constructed from a non-stick material which allows ease of cleaning in products that can cause contamination. This is uh, easily accomplished with the TP9 as a, a rag can be used while re-wrapping cable. The temperature sensors are available in multiple configurations, uh, multiple weight configurations, depending on what weight and diameter is required for the application, uh, according to the user. The TP9 incorporates a two-button interface for the user. Uh, obviously, the power button is the power symbol. A quick press turns it on. It shows the revision of the software. As you can see, the large character display as well as the backlight. The two arrows, when they blink, when you see both arrows blink at the same time, that indicates a stable reading. Right now, as you see it points up, it, it indicates increasing temperature. When both arrows blink it, simultaneously, that indicates that, that the device has detected a stable temperature reading. The power button, if you hold until it says off, we'll turn the device off turn it back on. Once the thermometer has reached a stable temperature, you can quickly press the power button two times to get a log reading. The function button works in a hold and release fashion. You hold the function to get into its menu and it will scroll, scroll through the different selections that can be made, the very last one being DEC. So long as you continue to hold this, it'll, it'll display. When you release this, the DEC switches between tenths or hundredths resolution. So now we, see we have two digits of precision after the decimal point. If we hold and release for decimal point, again, we'll go back to tenths resolution. The function button also will go to a C-F. If you release, that allows you to select between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So now we're Celsius, hold and release, back to Fahrenheit. The log readings can be retrieved from the very first selection from the function menu. If you hold and release the function button until it says list, it will show you reading one, reading two, up to four readings. The readings that we've taken earlier have been stored in memory and they are average. The second selection from the function list can display the average of those three readings. Here's the readings again. It's up to four readings. 
The average of those four readings can be shown if you hold function and release on AT, which is for average. So your average temperature is 74.1 Fahrenheit.